Hi Scorpio, welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna to do your love reading. Please remember it is a general reading. Everything you need to know is in the description box. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. You can check out your other signs uh, for more messages and guidance. There is a playlist link below. Um, if I didn't mention it already, I did open up personal readings again. And then lastly, there is a um, giveaway every month. I will be doing the giveaway uh, within the next week or so. So details are below if you'd like to enter. So let's get started. Thank you all for joining. I also want to say thank you to all of you for the super chats you've been sending me. I do appreciate them. They're new to me. So, uh, so thank you. Just want to say thank you. So I'm going to pull um, this first card here. This is from the Healing Energy Oracle deck. It's just a positive uh, message to start uh, here with your reading. So let's uh, get started. Let me just pull this back a little bit. The card that you have is called Positive Action. I focus on the beauty in me and I find silence. I live and honor the present by doing what I can do now. What I cannot change, I let go and entrust to God or my higher power. So beautiful uh, energy there, okay? This is about putting that positive vibration uh, and positivity out into the universe. This is letting go, living in the present, not thinking too much about uh, the future or the past. You can really be positive and see results of positive action when you are present in the now. So very uh, nice energy there. So let's pull some cards. Uh, this is from the Rainbow Tarot deck. Uh, I want to let you know there is a new link below. Um, a lot of people ask me what cards I use, so I created a link. Uh, with all the decks that uh, I use. So feel free to check that out as well. So let's get one more shuffle here for Scorpio. And we'll cut the cards. Hope everyone's doing well, staying healthy and safe, if I didn't already say that. Um, okay, thank you angels and spirit for your guidance. Uh, what's the overall energy uh, for Scorpio and their person? What's the overall energy for Scorpio and their person? Let's get three cards. Okay, let's get two cards for Scorpio's energy. And let's get um, two cards uh, for Scorpio's person's energy. Okay. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. King of Cups energy. There's your energy there, Scorpio. Okay. I feel Scorpio, there's this energy here with this King of Cups um, and what I'm seeing so far, okay? I feel there's a sense there is some sort of hurt or sadness or loss that you're going through or you're healing from, okay? And you may not be sharing this with a lot of people around you. That's the energy there. Your first card is the Hermit card. Uh, it could be dealing with a Virgo, okay? So I feel like you're taking a lot of time to really... Um, go within, uh, really um, listen to your inner wisdom, um, trying to gain some insight in your situation. You may be even doing um, some meditation, but I feel like you're really uh, thinking about the future here. This can be your person as well. You know, roles can be reversed, okay? I feel in your situation, you have the Six of Wands and you have the Page of Swords, okay? So we have Aries, Leo, Sag, and we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. I feel like you could be dealing with someone, um, I feel like you could be dealing with someone who's very um, successful or in the spotlight or on the front lines uh, in some way. 
um, somebody where people look up to them. This person can have a lot of online fo followers or they could even be a YouTube creator. But I'm getting this energy, um, you know, it can be, you know, you kind of, uh, I feel here like investigating um, more about your person online or that it can be vice versa energy here. Okay, but um, there is some sort of sense here that uh, the person that you're dealing with too, I feel can be someone um, younger than you or more youthful, can be somebody I feel as well who is, uh, might be a little bit distant or aloof with you right now, okay? Or there could be lack of communication. There is that energy here because this person I feel is is very successful at what they do or, you know, like I said, they could have a lot of followers. Uh, this can be the energy of your person that you are dealing with is somebody who likes people to see them as single uh, when it comes to love and, you know, they may be hiding their feelings or emotions in the situation. Uh, that's not going to be for everyone, but that's the energy that I get. Now for your energy, will you have the three of swords and the queen of swords? <clears throat> so I feel Scorpio right now you're in that energy. Uh, you may have been quite a bit of a hermit right now. I feel like you're protecting your heart. Uh, you're guarding your heart. Because um, I feel like there was a situation here that is really um, made you really look at things differently. <clears throat> and now I feel here you are um, in that energy of focusing on you. And that's what this positive action is. <clears throat> Excuse me. I focus on the beauty in me and I find silence here, okay, in this, in this hermit mode, okay. So I feel like you've kind of let go a little bit in your situation, trying to focus on you and, and heal. Now it's interesting because your person's energy, I felt like there was lack of communication. You have the Eight of Wands and you have the Knight of Pentacles. I feel that you're gonna hear from your person. This is like a message coming through to you, a loving message coming through to you. Um, somebody who, um, is moving towards you. Now I do see you have, you're dealing with somebody who is somebody, it's interesting because you know, the Eight of Wands is fast moving, uh, but the Knight of Pentacles is slow moving. Okay, so I feel this person has a lot of passion for you and I do feel like they're gonna send you some sort of message. It can be a flirty, loving message, um, but I do sense you are gonna receive some sort of message from them soon, okay? So it can be too, you're just feeling hurt uh, because this person hasn't really expressed their feelings to you. Okay, that can be the energy as well. But let's, uh, I'm going to pull a couple cards. Thank you, angels and spirit for your guidance. Um, what are Scorpio's person's upcoming actions, thoughts or feelings? Let's get two cards, please. Let's get two cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Yeah, so I do feel like they want to send a message here. Um, uh, a loving message. I feel like this person too, this person could be at a physical distance from you as well. You have the two of pentacles and you, knight, you have the knight of swords. So I get the energy too that your person is... Um, going back and forth about this, okay? I feel like you're dealing with someone who could be quite impulsive. Uh, you have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and you have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. I feel like your person uh, does really wanna rush in and send you a, a message, but I f sense um, some imbalance with your person, okay? And it can be just that they're very impulsive. Um, you know, they do things uh, at the last minute, um, you know, that kind of adventurous type energy. I'm going to pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. Um, what is Scorpio's person? What other messages do you have for Scorpio? 
for Scorpio's person's thoughts, feelings, or actions. Let's get two cards. Okay. Huh. Bottom of the deck, here you have the Four of Cups. So you can be dealing with someone, uh, this person seems a bit stubborn or there's someone uh, who feels that they have other options. Like I said, they do seem like there's somebody who is in the front line they're around a lot of people or they uh, have a lot of uh, people uh, that follow them online or communicate online type of energy, okay? <clears throat> But this can be, actually, this is your energy as well, Scorpio. It can be you reluctant to receive an offer from this person because this person hurts you. <clears throat> now you have the six of swords, I'm sorry, the six of pentacles and the magician. Yeah, I feel your person, <coughs> excuse me, I feel like your person does want to reach out. I do feel here they want a new beginning uh, with you. Okay, I feel like they're trying to um, position themselves to reach out to you to send you some sort of message uh, because I do see here, if this person was not putting in the effort in the past, I do feel like um, they're wanting to now, okay. I feel like this person may have been inconsistent in the past and, you know, um, they weren't really putting in the effort or they wanted to portray themselves as single or they just really, uh, it can also be they weren't a very good communicator when it came to their feelings on getting as well. Uh, but I feel like there was a sense that this person really did something that hurt you. Uh, and I feel like you're being very protective of your heart right now. Okay, so that was that. Actually, that Four of Cups I feel is for you. I feel that Four of Cups is... You know, you may not receive, uh, you may not want to receive an offer from this person. Now remember, roles can be reversed as well. So let's get three cards for Scorpio and their person. What is the possible outcome? Hmm. Yeah, look at this. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Cups. So it looks good, it looks positive. I feel uh, with this Queen of Wands and this Page of Pentacles, as I said, I do feel like they're going to take some sort of action here. They're going to reach out to you. They're going to send you some uh, sort of flirty, fun, romantic uh, message. And I do feel like your person is going to put in the effort. You also have the Judgment card, okay? Again, this is that Judgment call. So I feel like you're going to make a Judgment call. This is also someone from the past returning as well uh, can you know there may be some karma involved uh, in this situation a learning experience it can be that you know through this experience you're learning to uh, love you okay and focus your energy within but let's pull uh, three more cards uh, from the psychic tarot of the heart uh, for some final messages thank you angels and spirit for your guidance what other messages do you have uh, for scorpio let's get three cards please let's get three cards okay all right, so the bottom of the deck here, you have uh, the solar plexus chakra, okay, number three. Um, this is that energy, you know, this is the emotions. Um, I feel like, uh, Scorpio, you could be holding the, the emotions in your solar plexus, which is uh, uh, right below your ribs, okay? Uh, when there is hurt, uh, we tend to hold that in, in our solar plexus. Uh, so I feel like there could be some guidance here uh, to help you heal. You know, you may want to do some chakra work uh, with your solar plexus. You can, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube where you can do cleansings and clearings of your chakra. Okay, but um, this is also a message of um, desire, emotion. So I feel, you know, this person still has a lot of passion and desire for you. 
Um, I do feel they want to come back and I do feel here they want to heal this because you do have um, the rebuild and the seat card. Okay, number 16, which is seven and number nine here, okay. So, you know, with the judgment, I talked about karma, um, can't even be divine intervention, but this is a destiny card for me. I feel this person really is, is going to seek you out. They are going to want to rebuild things. They know that there have been challenges in the past, but I feel like they really want to uh, put in the effort and try and rebuild this. And I am seeing here, you know, this is, uh, this is going to be your judgment call, okay? Uh, and this is where your healing is going to begin, whether you want to work things out with this person or not, okay? Uh, it's also showing me here the heart chakra, okay? This, uh, having peace and joy in your heart, okay? Which is, you know, basically this first card that came out here, okay? And I talked about that you may need to do some chakra work for the healing, Okay, to release uh, those emotions uh, so you can heal. All right, so I do sense that your person does want to work on things and rebuild this, um, but it's really going to be your judgment call, Scorpio. So I hope you gained some clarity here. Uh, again, if you want to enter the giveaway, details are below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.